mic, really hoping uh, we're not gonna have too many problems. Like I got at least one one audio test where uh, I wasn't getting double voice from here to the here. Um, so hopefully that's gonna keep happening. Okay, that was on. Um, it, it's been it's been a while. So ten, ten. Uh, <laughs> we're, act we're reacting to ten <laughs> episodes. From you, but here's the thing. here's the thing. They're all good. No, they're not just all good. They are all great. Like this, this is ten episodes. Ten episodes. That's that was like at least seventy days because those these were once a week. So this was a good chunk of a year. Once upon a time, probably more because it wasn't every every week. Sometimes it took a while. Sometimes it'd be gone for a month. I, I couldn't remember if that, that happened between any of these. But this, these are ten episodes of peak strong bad. Freaking golden era of strong bad emails. I don't mean like that golden era, like, oh, nostalgic, simpler times that we like. Like, oh, the golden era of strong bad was when he never left the computer screen. No, screen or golden era comic books, something like that. No, 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 no. I'm talking like towards the end of YouTube using the five star system golden era okay we're, I'm talking I'm talking Chad Vader early death that early not death, early death battles yes actually um screw attack top 10 lists um okay so like like that era and even to be fair like you go back to you go back to freaking Smosh food battle. It is not as funny as you, you remember it being. Um, but it was better with the five star system. Candy product. Oh, so you know, this is the candy product. Tax about candy product. We're going to throw a quick candy product review. Boo boo loo boo. Quick little review boo. These are like the where, where I live, these are the best money to um, quality thing. Because you get, you get like like a bag of three of them. I got three bags. And it, it, it is it's marshmallow and it is jam. And like yeah, it, it's not quite as big as a regular candy bar, but you're not gonna notice the difference here at the moment. You're gonna get three of them and each bag only costs like two fifty. Two fifty for three bars. That's less than most of, than a single bar cost of anything else. Anything all you know, Hershey's. Track one. Track two. Sibilance. You got fun Sibilance. Speemail. Dear Strong Bad, I was wondering, if you are so famous, popular, and a chick magnet, how come you don't have any candy product? Or food thing? Okay, I've got... I've got musical Strong Bad email. Take my head out. Dear, dear Strong Bad, I was wondering... I'm not going to do this. For sale. Da, 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 da. From Simon, <laughs> that's not Homestar Runner. Well, of course you're not, Simon. Or else you would have fallen prey to Edgar's baby's daddy, my Homestar junk man. The joke is that they're not spelling someone correctly. Edgar's baby's daddy. Which is to say Edgar. We got, we got re bessing friends. Draw Trogdor again. Re, 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 resending. Re Farum Blancy News. Possible caper. Right, so low. Right, so, so low. Shemp versus Curly Joe, which I think is a boxing thing. And it's almost 1025. <laughs> uh, and all from home stock. Oh, dang, drop Conqueror again. Strong Bad had Homestar Runner had his invisible fingers on the pulse though. Well, filter. So what? I don't have a candy product. I bet you I will by the end of this. Oh, we got one of the rare versions. If I got one of the rare versions, we actually click on the thing. Email. I'm famous, popular, and chick. So if for some reason you're starting here or you did know about this beforehand before coming here, even though you didn't watch the past, go to the actual website and try to click on everything. When you're watching Strong Wheels, even when you're not watching Strong Wheels, like because it, it's all it was all flash animation back in the dark. You could click on everything. Product. I don't know how they make it do that. Why is it athletes are the only ones with their own candy bars? Shouldn't they have their own brand of like jock strap or 
divorce lawyer instead? For my candy bar, we're gonna need a name that's 50% strong bad, 50% tooth rot, and 50% ta da! Come on! Here we go. Splounced! <laughs> Splounced! Because that's how you're gonna feel when you eat one! Like you got yeah. Splounced! <laughs> Now we gotta be sure and represent as many of the different states of candy matter as possible. Here we go, here we go. We'll start with a gaseous cloud. Here we go, we got, uh, Chocolatium, Darkium Chocolatium, Peanut Butter, Pretzelium, Marshmallow Floyd, Fudge, Hard Candium, Candy Coating, Nougat, Tapium, Puffed Rice, Cookium, Those wait those wafer things. The marshmallow vapor. And case the fuel of semi-solid licorice colloid. And once those will be floating in a chat we center chewy. All of liquid nougat. But I recently found out this the candy equivalent of veal. Ew. It's interesting how we're all kind of against veal for a while and then we stopped trying. Look at you, Food Network. Bobby Flay. We roll all that up inside a solid, oh. crispity, cookity log. And are crispity, cookity logs a thing? He says that like it's a thing. Cover it with rich, creamy, creamy. pepperoni. Then sprinkle that with not just crispy puffed rice, but whole tiny bowls of crispy puffed rice cereal. Uh, the metal spoons hurt my, hurt my teeth just thinking about that. Finally, smother that with the old BBC. Pouring, Pouring brown, brown chocolate. chocolate. I say. Now that is a confection worthy of the Splounsk name. But I need to think of a better shape than the standard piece of crap shape. I'm talking to you, you baby, baby Ruth. Ruth. Let's see. Shape, 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 shape. Ooh, what about my pants? Everybody knows my pants. Thank and they too. come with a built-in bite out of them, all for security. Cause who's gonna <laughs> steal a pair of half-eaten choco pants? <laughs> Man, with a candy bar like that, you could get away with anything. But you got the munch, the crisp and the crunch. <laughs> Living in the gutter with grandma. What <laughs> could put you in, you gotta go for the win. Y2K turned out alright! <laughs> Y2K turned out alright, that's what they said. Ouch! You can do- okay, the, the, the other thing for me, some of these, like, just some individual lines I'm reacting to more than I ever did in the past just because I, I, I'm on the spectrum. And apparently, I didn't know this until recently, it's a very common thing for people on the spectrum to have trouble comprehending things that are being told to them on screens. It's like, growing up, I had to have closed captions. Sometimes I still do. Um, like I, I am legit hearing some of these lines kind of like for the first time. Got the money. You got the Buy one and you can get one free root canal or cavity search. And <laughs> just acknowledge. Yeah, yeah. You can't destroy me! There we go. Ooh, there we go. Pay a pair of half-eaten choco Let's acknowledge that's a freaking huge candy bar, and I support it. As a guy who just... Not paid content. Uh, supported some tiny little chocolate bars. That, that, that was a review. That was, that was not support. Oh, alright, I didn't actually click this. Right, no. One of them was two. One of them was seven minutes long. Yeah, you got it for the That's much longer. I'll turn it in but no effort into. Wait, that's a small one. I'm here specifically. Thanks, man. No problem, Bob. Dear Strongman, got some question marks for you. You just know he has smart spent first. Number one, 
What would you do with a hundred million dollars? Number two. What would you do if you suddenly found yourself in an alternate universe somehow? Jody, not a girl, Texas. You know, you could probably ditch that not a girl thing if you just replaced it with something tough and cool and cool and tough. Like bulldozer. <laughs> Jody bulldozer. Nobody's gonna think back that guy's girl. girl. Well, anyway, Ms. Dozer. Ms. Dozer. Pretty much answered question mark number one with question mark number two. There's a hundred million dollars. Is exactly Incidentally, Strong Bad did Isekai before Short Art Online. And while we're on the subject, Lilia from Mushoku Tensei, stop trying to make your daughter have her sexual relationship with her half-brother. It's weird. It's bad enough that you gave her a maid complex. How much did she spend on her alternate universe portal? It's not right to cheat. <laughs> what? This thing only cost us 14 bucks? <laughs> well, that's like $100 million in dog years, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you clearly hear the cheat say no. Here we go. Oh, I should also mention Strong Bad Edit the Four Spider Verse. <laughs> magic. I bet this thing could release some serious cackle demons. So what? I I just jump in. It's Doom Rat. Will be Kaby. In a building. <laughs> Whoa, where da, am da, I? Da, 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 da. Finally, we have a visitor from another oh, universe. Universe. It's strong bad man, and his well-drawn abs. But why are we in a crappy apartment instead of a secret underground lair filled with secret underground gadgets? Because, oh, dear mortal, mortal, this apartment, this apartment is under in control. And I'm now old enough to appreciate that, yeah, Strong Bad Man's making the absolute right call here. Everybody, thumbs up for Ring, for ring Control Department over a secret underground lair. You know the utilities are going to be a freaking pain there. And water's included. Water's included, man. Water's included. And that being said, Volcano Lair, it takes some insulation, but you're going to get all the geothermal power, and you're going to get the hot springs. That, so, you know, it, it, it takes some cost to, up front to do it right. But the utilities are actually included. Why all your faucets are running? <laughs> Those dim wits down at the public works won't know what hit them. The so water's included. Don't plan. don't ruin it, man. Waste water and not pay for it. I gotta tell you, strong bad man, this part of your comic is pretty boring. Yeah, sure, it's boring, but that is one of the most evil things I've ever heard. Getting waters included and then wasting it. Come on, man. The very least, what you gotta do is you gotta rebottle that water and then and then sell it for less than actual bottled water. Now that's evil. See what's going on further down the but helping out the bottom line and the people. Oh, now we're talking. You're not kidding. Wow. Now we have expanded basic cable. Stolen, Stolen from, from my, my neighbor. neighbor. Who's writing this issue? The geniuses behind She-Hulk? Whoa. Except, I was wondering when this line was going to come on. I was like, he had, or, this is long before the disappointing Disney Plus show, okay? Outside of that, I've got nothing but respect for She-Hulk. A cheat. A little frappe action, if you please. <laughs> Steiny, keep flushing those toilets. Yes, and for my next parlor trick, I shan't make anything appear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the booing means that the audience is actually looking forward to nothing happening. I, you greatly colored baboon! You've ruined my butt meal! Ooh, now there, there, there's a non sequitur to just throw at somebody. Hey, you brightly colored buffoon! You have ruined my vaudeville! Ah! What is up, my enormous vector brother? Hello. So, uh, Hello. what do you do for fun around here? I load stuff up. Wow, that's pretty nice. cool. Hey, guys, how's challenges? What it is, my dog. What oh, it is, my dog. Oh, dude. 
that 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 feels like somebody would say today or maybe last year that 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 actually that actually feels like a zenial greeting to me what it is my doge Are you sure he's my training simulator check it out so there you go strong bad also doge first nice work big nose big nose your nose uh oh and so both strong bads entered the dig to China with your ears contest. This is just about the second or third to the worst contest I ever heard of. The contest began, and tiny handed strong bad rubbed his head on the ground, while our modern day hero maxed and relaxed. I shall get rich, said THSB. I'm his own mug of frosty root beer. Nice. Sounds like refreshing attack. Now, as delicious as sarsaparilla is, you don't want to drink that much because it's just poison. And not like sugar poison, like it's actually proper poison. Yeah. Hey! Alright, they, they did some puppet stuff, which I didn't care about or care for. Yeah. No! <laughs> oh, feet, no feet, no Bad, bad, bad. Drop, bad, bad. Pull out on the liquefy button, man! But try to make me a real quick smoothie deal. Any of you guys got any bee pollen? Oh, Star! Quit messing with my alternate universe portal! I'm trying to replenish some electrolytes, if you don't mind. Dude, like, how's that for the ending of the Spider Verse? Just like Flash Thompson or something. Trying to make a milkshake and accidentally activating an alternate universe portal, and like that—that's what caused everything. It—it wasn't—it wasn't—it wasn't you know the spot. It, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't Kingpin, Wilson Fisk trying to reunite his family. It wasn't. What's his face? Just being a main character. It wasn't the finest spider butt in the multiverse. No. It's just, just Flash Thompson with a milkshake machine. With an alternate universe portal machine that was milkshake. Wow. Staring! And the HUD in the same place feels weird. What an all-star cast! What say we all form a super group and It's funny because the cast is always just Matthew Chapman. the number one jam! Mm. There's a crazy it's world of emails in this crazy world. Check it around, check it around. I hope it's from a girl. Save the last email for strong man. And the men are children wrong. They don't just go. Put a date on that one. Hold on. Thirteen years out. Wow! A fishing trip with Sonor card gauge! My life is complete. Alonzo morning to you, Myrtle Bass. Say hello to my tackle box. Hello there, tackle box. I'm such a big fan. Well, if you could just sign right here on the dotted line, the adoption will be complete. You're gonna adopt me? Oh, man. Okay, see that, that one? That, that does throw a wrench in my... If Sonar Car Gauge is, in fact, an alternate universe Strong Bad, that throws a wrench in my... He's actually Strong Bad's... Uh, father theories um but i think there's more evidence later on and previously to suggest my original theory in this one here this is also not out of sonor car gauge's uh character to just sort of show up here even though he's actually not a doppelganger oh, oh or that wasn't oh oh i got i figured out that was not sonor car gauge i was not actually sonor car gauge that 
was Strong Bad's fantasy of being just like Snork on So that was, in fact, Strong Bad. That was Strong Bad. Just an idealized version of himself who is exactly like Sonor Cargage, but unlike Sonor Cargage, is willing to, ad to, to adopt him, because Sonor Car the actual Sonor Cargage would never do that. That's how we can tell. I'm not okay with this. I'm not okay with any of that. Lousy. If you're not going to eat that highball pill, <coughs> I suggest you give it to someone who will. I don't know what's going on, Omstar, but I'm not at liberty to discuss what I just did in my pants. <laughs> Red Twin Beaks. I've been walking on clouds and flipping off rainbows. The wind of an evening. It's win after win. Yeah. Very own, popular cartoon show. Let the king have some. The king of town's very own popular cartoon show will not be seen this week. Instead, we bring you Strong Bad's very popular cartoon show, already in progress. Uh, I was wondering, did you ever have a senior prom? If so, what was it like? Matt F. Walrus Association. Oh man, would you walrus the so <laughs> So there you go, it's canon now. Matthew Mercer is a member of the Walrus Association. Cuckoo ka choo. Association, people, please leave me alone. Never. I will pay my dues when you send me my tusks. Anyways, I have personally never had it. Dues first, tusks later. In your problem, Matt. I have, however. And you know what happens if you don't pay your dues? If you've seen Tusk, you know what happens. Crashed my fair share of senior proms, sonor proms, homecoming dances, shortcoming <laughs> prances, be done. and off-site team building pottery classes. But the best senior those. prom I ever crashed was the Entrapment Oliphant the Moon dance. It all started one day when I received some very disappointing news. Oh man, you guys, I'm totally bummed. Listen to this message I just got. Hey, Blood Muffin, it's Dizzy and Lydia. They need me to go back up to Mars to help out that robot that got stuck in the sand. So I won't be able to go to the dance with you. Oh, I, left you some I was looking forward to meeting her. Under the fridge. Oh, that little robot stuck in the sand again. Mm, that robot. Guess I don't have a date for a dance. Wait, oh, everybody well. likes the big robot. Looks like you two losers and me one cool guy will just have to crash the ever-loving style out of it. Now listen close to my masterly plan. Well, he definitely wasn't hosting an entire prom for a bunch of very much adult people with, cult with jobs. Just so we can crash it. That'd be silly. Funny really? because it's funny because Poop Smith is singing, but he took a vow of silence. We can't sing. To bed, but I think we're the hottest couple at the prom. I'm sorry, as always, we're the only couple at the prom. Oh. Well, what about Dog Dad and Deborah? That is unmistakably Coach Z. Who? Coach Z, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You're supposed to be our chaperone. Are you kidding? I'm just looking out for all your hygiene. Have you ever talked to one of these kids up close? Their breath is nerberal. Uh. Oh. Hey, what's this hands, David Copperfield? Yeah, David. That's right, senior citizens. This prom is officially crashed. It's really like gently pushing them away from each other so they could jump in. Now peep my masterly plan. I rigged up this button so that when I mash go on it, everybody's pants will poof away. It's a mass pantsing, see? Uh, what? <laughs> you 
You've got to be kidding me. I'm the only one that wears any pants? <gasps> they had a whole episode about this. I'm sure wears long pants. It's a long pants man song, man. And now to your prom king and queen. This year's prom king is... Pom Pom! Accepting the award for Pom Pom is Homestar Runner because Pom Pom did a much cooler private school prom. I think you do. And your prom queen, strong bad with no pants on. Oh, thank you so much. Your people are a sweet delight. Just one big almond paste filled sweet delight. Every freaking year. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <gasps> And the best part was that I also yeah, got awesome. a $20 gift certificate to the All You Can Eat Old Folks Cafeteria. Ooh. Man, I ate my weight in cream fish and okra teenies. All right, I gotta get out of here. I'm thinking to nearly, uh, to see David Copperfield perform. <laughs> okay, see, see, if Dilla wasn't real, how could they go see David Copperfield perform, huh? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Oh, man. My pants got so pooped away at the prom this year. So I was wearing all these types of long pants, and they just got pooped Thank away. Thank you. So embarrassing. Glad you mentioned it. Probably can tell you well, like, I will keep telling myself that. Can you see that I got e my style? Oh, come on, come on. Work. Can Sorry. you see that I got e my style? I was nervous to that, that the King of Town's very own popular cartoon show was being used as the opener. Like, hmm. oh, I didn't know that Jaden did a Pokemon tier list. Good for her. This is raw uncut cool reaction Andrew. created this by somebody with high functioning ADD. Brown sugar. So okay, we're gonna rank the, all the Pokemon real quick. Tinka Tink, hate this thing. <gasps> this one is like C tier. Tinkaton, B tier. Honestly, <gasps> I don't think this guy's that great. He can go C tier. This guy is also C tier. This guy, A tier. Straight, like, you can't, there's not even a competition. Yeah, it's that's just that's like, fair, like football gear on a flaming red hot Cheetos guy or awesome samurai guy with two blades his hands and blades his feet and he's all dark and purple and edgy. Easy. You know what else is A tier and cool and edgy? The sponsor of this video, Honkai Star Rail. From the creators of Genshin Impact, Hoyo Okay, Brooks you, you, you put my Tinkaton in B tier. I'm not here. watching your advertisement. It is out now and full of this. Block. World of Honkai Star Rail. Toad School is so funny. I will say it's he's basically Genshin here. Impact, he's very funny. He's very funny. I, I'll, I'll put them like this. I That's think he's fair, a little but much, Tinkaton, but Toad School is perfect. I like how he's just got Squidward feet. I imagine like, he walks fair. around with the little foot sound effect, like. I can't do it. Okay, here's my thing. He is an awesome Pokemon, but I think he ruins the Bishop line. Bishop is all about being sleek and quick, and he just feels a little too... I'm the one who feels like our eyes are drawn way too much to that B-zone. Chunky to be a Bishop. Definitely A tier, but He's that's tired. just like with an asterisk. Claude Sire. Everyone loves Claude Sire. I Claude Sire, I think, is B tier. I know, I know... People are gonna be upset about that one. You know, the, the cute little guys are not really for me. Annihilate, awesome Pokemon, A tier, absolutely A tier Pokemon. He's just I'm so agree, cool. But they made Primate also and awesome and dead. Sprigatito, I would say he is also an A tier. I, I'd say this whole line is A tier. I love this entire line. This could also pass as a mid evolution, I think. Also speaking of Pokemon, where they're trapped, they're they're drawing too much energy to be zone. What you 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 don't need those two lines way up there. Okay, you don't. I'll, I'll say it's a tier. I'm okay with Boy that. Coco, That's also true. A tier. This guy, D tier. Yeah. Skeletors is awesome. I'm gonna say he's S tier, just because I like him. Yeah, okay, you're getting some points back for me because I love Skeletors so much. And 
the, the second form has got some serious second form itis. So. so much. I feel like this Pokemon is made for me. It's just awesome. I'll say he's B tier. I mean, it, it's a Pokemon with a familiar. This guy's also B tier, and I'm gonna say it, this guy is A tier. I like how gay they made him. I respect <laughs> it. Lechonk? Okay, guys. They're Dewey Duck. A anyone who's seen the, the, the 2020, 2018, whatever, DuckTales things, you, you know that's Dewey Duck. You know that's Dewey Duck's final evolution. I'm sorry. I don't like Lechong. I think that's people fair. only like him because of the funny name. Yeah, and the name fair. does not fool me. This is just a pig Pokemon, and I don't like pig Pokemon. And if you don't like that, this pig, even worse. What is this? Oh, so this is pretty. not a final evolution for a Pokemon. Come on. It's just edgy pig, but it's not edgy. They just put like the ear over the eye. I also, why really are there two I mean, the bigger The pictures, Dunsparce. It's awesome not Pokemon. Edgy. A tier. Awesome pretty Pokemon. Pig. Tarantula is absolutely S tier. This guy, F tier. What yeah. a fall. It's so upsetting. This guy is just a bunch of plank wood stuck together. This is a Home Depot project. Uh, this yeah. guy is cute. I think he's a B tier. It, it feels like the, the uncool cool version of Kartana. Right. Kartana is the weird chaos of introvert cool chaos of introversion of that thing. The idea of chainsaw grasshopper is yes. awesome. I think I, I it just doesn't so quite work. I'll put him in B tier though. No, I'm with you there. I'm with you there. It it is it it's illogically powerful. I like the little dung beetle. I'll put him in B tier. This guy do not know what he's all about. Give me B tier. I, I just need to understand him. What is his goal in life? What is his motives? The dog. Oh, people dogs. like the dogs. People like the dogs a lot. I like the little scene in the eighth gym. This guy is sitting on the little speaker, dancing his little heart out on the beat and everything. I don't know if they're the eighth gym. But for some reason, I just don't think they're that cute. I'm not like a big fan of like shaggy little dogs so i'm gonna put them in a respective seat here. At least this guy here just... absolutely hate this thing and i, I was shocked i was shocked when i found out that this psychic bird that i thought was gonna turn into some like frilly frilly girl pokemon turned into espartha the like the awesome egypt anka bird that's awesome that's absolutely a tier pokemon for me but it's no ferrigraph ferrigraph is awesome i love ferrigraph yeah, so true. much that's i love true. how the tail like kind of it consumes the, the the giraffe wiglet i'll be honest mid diglet is such a nothing pokemon for me and I, I get i get the argument that he's a, a silly little guy wug trio uh downgrade they could only go so far this pokemon has a ceiling dawn guy dawn jan that's what i think of he's okay he's a little much i, I don't like looking at him Palapin, i feel like he's a pokemon that over time i will start to enjoy more uh he's definitely b tier at best and he's too much work he's too much work to get too weird of a thing Okay, and I, I, I don't, the, the superhero aesthetic, like, breaks the Pokemon aesthetic for me. I mean, I know somebody's all, that, that, that's what my line is. Like, other people have drawn lines in the sand as where that was, their eye was fine going past them. I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine with Vanillix. I'm, I'm fine with the trash bag Pokemon. I, I love Klefki. This breaks the line for me. And then the <laughs> dolphins, the dolphins are also C tier. Small of A tier or S tier. Small. This small of little guy is like the best tiny little guy Pokemon has ever made. Pokemon sure. has peaked with small. I'm just so sure. sad that he evolves. <laughs> this guy's A tier. He's just like edgy, purple, oh, psychic Verascuta. And I get that if you if you don't God, want another Verascuta, then then he, it doesn't really work. But I think it's awesome. Water psychic edgy fish is so cool. Dolim, uh, F tier. In reality. It's D tier, but since it comes from Smoliv, mm -mm. I went in spoiler free, evolved my Smoliv, and this guy pops out, and I was so sad. It's just a bummer. Why can't he just stay perfect? And then Olive Tree, Olive Garden guy, he's B tier. He's okay. I don't, I don't like Olive, so I never even got into that. It's definitely better than Dolive. I do not like this Pokemon. He's not a nothing Pokemon for me, so it's B tier. Char Kid. He's cute. I like him. I think this whole line is A tier. No, this guy's I, S tier. He's awesome. Cool. I wish he either evolved one more time better. or mm -hmm. was bigger. Because in game, he's small. He's like a small little fella. This mm -hmm. guy didn't really like him. He's a little too weird. I, I had high hopes that he would turn into a cool, like, electric water type. 
type, and then he turned him into this guy, which is also D tier. I just don't like this line. The car is fine. It's whatever. It's very mid. Orthworm is great. He's A tier. Yes, yes they for are. Sure. These little mice, also A tier. This guy, Hello. I had high hopes. This one was definitely C tier. The, the, the mice seem designed specifically to troll people who want to understand the mechanics of Pokemon breeding on like a beyond beyond a meta level but like a real world level. like they want to try to understand that like like pe people who start taking like the, the biology too seriously it feels like it's specifically designed to troll them turn to the, into this f tier it's, so it's ugly to troll me. and i don't like it this little guy i think he's very ugly he's so ugly that it's cute and then it turns ugly again i'm gonna say c tier this guy is awesome he's a tier and then this guy is also awesome he's a tier i, I no, didn't like he's these, i didn't like i like him a lot i, I didn't like just these wish... legendaries I, I don't like having dragons again i was just waiting for them to be ice when they're ice dragon because ice is i don't i don't like ice types that's not true. I love ice types. I don't like the ice type. He wasn't bald. These guys. These guys are cute. I'll say I they're all I, I, I think they're that. funny little funny little guys. They're cute. This guy is also cool. It's a bummer he doesn't evolve, but I understand that it's like the parad he turns into like the paradox of the legends. I think he it's does hard evolve. to he make doesn't evolve. He that evolves, doesn't evolve but he doesn't or have evolve. a pre-evolution. And I don't think he quite pulls it off, but he does do very well. Tommy I, I'm I'm deeply disappointed that they couldn't get the quality of the game to the point where you could actually like see other trainers writing those like around the open wild. Mid, and then the they kind of just get worse. I don't like these. Tommy, <sighs> I was willing to like wait out for, and then I saw this and I said, "Isn't that just Pommy again?" L take. I'm going I to ban you. This guy just looks like a YouTuber. I'll be honest. This little guy, YouTuber hair. He's cute. Yeah, I like that, him. He's I, like a B tier Pokemon. Not see I that. was like, oh, this is gonna, gonna turn into a cool, like, electric flying type. That's awesome. And then it turned to Watchroll, which is probably the most plain ass bird Pokemon has ever made. I was so bummed out. Bombardier A tier. He's awesome. I wish he had a pre evolution because it's weird that he kind of just pops out the egg like this. They could have did like a little bomb. I, I, I liked. I liked when you did the Titan Pokemon because the Titan Pokemon don't spawn until you beat the Titan Titan, so it's the first. It's going to be the first time you see them. Um, so the first time that happened is just this giant that dropping rocks out of me. That that was actually kind of a scary moment in game for me. So that that was my first time. Um, as a chick, and then he drops the little babies. I think. That, oh, I like that idea. He could have like dropped the little babies as bombs, little bomb baby birds. This guy's funny. I'll give him B tier. He reminds me of Ari. Like Johnny Bravo plus Ari. Oh yeah, Flamigo she would like him. can also be B tier. I think he's fine. This guy is C tier. He could have did better. This whole line is very mid to me. I don't really care about it. These guys are B tier. Apparently absolutely broke the meta. I, I kind of really like these. I don't think they're handled perfectly. But I like them. I don't mind them. This guy kind of freaks me out. I don't really like this mm -hmm. guy. I saw him and I said, is he a bug? Is he a little monkey? What is this? This guy is awesome. He gets A tier for sure, though. Sure. That is such a glow up from this weird guy that I don't know that how I'm to look okay at. That I'm not okay with. That I like the evolution. Awesome. I'm not okay with that thing being higher evolution than my Tinkaton. Some little guy. These guys are both B tier. I'm not like a big Dashend fan. That's like the dog they're based Doxin. off, right? But I think it's cute. I feel like of all the dog Pokemon, that's like one of the cutest ones. We can skip just this guy. These two are both F tier. Absolutely <gasps> ugly as dogs. I don't care that they try to make me like this thing. I don't like them. I don't like this line of Anyway, we did that. Back to why you actually came here. I forget what ISP even stands for. It's time for email! Dear Strongback, since you answer emails, you must have some sort of internet, right? Uh, what kind of internet do you guys get in Strong Battle? I'm not sure what ISP stands for. Who runs it? Is it expensive? Your best is buddy in the, in the whole, whole wide world. world. Not even close. Oh. Gary, are you oh, okay? I'm sorry, Gary. Yeah, I'm fine, Gary. Calm down. <laughs> of course I got the internet. How else okay. can I download these awesome animated GIF GIFs of a cute breakdancing oh, rodent? Oh, oh, I love that. He just said GIF twice. He, he's, he's, he's not tolerating you weirdo GIFs. What? 
Less than a fortnight nice remaining, start. but Fortnite will never cease to be popular for some reason. Downloading this thing like two days ago. Oh, that's it. Hold on to your fat, sweaty D&D playing headsets, tech support. The strong bad's about to do some about this. I will have you know that while I play D&D and I have a headset, which I'm not using, I do not understand technology well enough to run a tech support. Thank you for calling the internet. May I have your account number or identity theft? And the idea of playing D&D &D with Homestar Runner gives me deep nightmares. Left, please. No, but you can have a heap and helping of my unbridled rage. Ma'am, please calm down. Your CD tray is not a cup holder. I cannot help you clear your browser cache. No, I'm not in India. Now shut up and listen. My internet is crawling along like something... Funny that crawls along. All right, I can help you with that. Please hold while I transfer you to someone who can help you with that. What? Do 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 do. It's the hold music. Do 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 do. Hold music. Thank you for holding. Your call is very important to us. <laughs> the next available representative will- Okay, I'm back. I don't think I'd talk if you said unimportant to us, important to us, or unimportant to us. Let me just verify your address so I can send you my weight in free sign-up CDs. <laughs> oh, enough! I'm marching my pasty white bottom down there to talk to the man in charge. <laughs> I'm so glad we could get that resolved. Is there anything else I could- Fun, drive safe. Listen here, old man Bubs. What's the big idea? So imagine having an entire entire internet service just for you. Even if it was terrible, you know? Like just imagine being able to go and talk to the person who runs your internet. Throttling me down. Throttling you down? That's not one of the ninety-nine ways I rip you off. Well, back in the day I used to connect at twelve hundred baud. But ever since the merger, I'm lucky if I get 12 baud. Hmm. Let's head down to the Datum Center well, and see what we can find. I know that. Datum sounds good. So, is, is, is the joke that Datum is the singular of data? So it's, it's just, instead of running lots of data, it's running like one Datum at a time? Well, this is where the magic happens. I wonder where the trouble could be. Yeah, I wonder. It's probably not this computer with the garden hose coming out of it. Hey, somebody's sucking up all my bandwidth. A strong mad. I'm a website. <laughs> bandwidth. The <laughs> <laughs> noble gas is Not really right there. Oh, man, this is the era, the era of MySpace gifts. I wasn't there for that. Oh, I, I didn't click on this one either, but oh my god, I, I love this one so much. Struggling with Salesforce data replication to your data warehouse? No. Into popular databases like Oracle, Azure Synapse, MySQL, and no, more. I'm not. Email is nice. <laughs> Email is twice. Habilis, Habilis, ah. Email is twice. Wrong bad. Wrong bad. Wrong bad. Wrong bad. Wrong bad. Wrong bad. Dude, I am getting bored of the no loafing sign and blue paint. Camille, Ericsson. Canada. Oh, this, this is a phone so kind of like the, the, the bottom, bottom 10. 
Cause you get you get lots of stuff in this. Room. You should say that, Wildfire, because I was just thinking how bored I am with your face and your face and your snotty nose. No, 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 no. I guess the no loafing sign could take a cue from the fast food, soft drink, and bad sports team industries, the combat sluggish sales, and decades of losing with a slick logo redesign. All right. First you squish it, skew it, and turn, turn it all around. Squish it, skew it, and turn it all around. Then we need to make it fast and slick and shiny, like Flojo in a tuxedo. Hello, Flojo in a tuxedo. Now it's time to play Color Wheel Roulette. No worries, no worries. Oh, ouch, man. Now you gotta live with the baby done. poop. You gotta dip it in molten plexiglass to give it that children under three are sure to choke on it goodness. Oh, wait. Almost forgot the fang. Oh, gotta have the fang. Well, I don't know how we're gonna print it out, seeing as how somebody sliced off the back of your monitor. And quit rubbing that plastic bar of soap on the desk. You clearly don't have what it takes to bring no. It's, it's funny because Strong Bad doesn't understand how computers. We're loafing into the digital age. But I does! Fresh from elementary school cafetoriums and lotto yeah, machines go. comes one of those actually pretty hard to read message board signs. Yeah. Capable of advanced animation, kind of one scrollable one. Tonys, and 12 levels of blinkiness. Now we can celebrate the lack of loafing with some fireworks. And a man doing cartwheels. No mortal would dare loaf under the four colored dotted digital stare of this bad boy. You know, unless they looked up too late and the no had already scrolled off, so they thought it said do loafing. Or maybe like Franklin Delano loafing, our nation's laziest president. <gasps> That's enough. I'll have you know his wife got a lot done. All. If you're gonna repaint anything, you might as well use that magic green screen paint hey, that Hollywood yeah. still thinks looks good. Then the wall could be anything you want. Imagine uh, being I guess now com computers can just like do that with almost any background. Able to frolic through the bread aisle without leaving the house. Oh, bread Re aisle, warm me with your enriched, bleached bosom. And please give me back my sight. Or play your favorite video games where the pixels are big as hams. Cherry, get. Watch out for the wet walnuts. You. Oh. This game sucks. Or James but what over. green screens are really for is battling clay hey, yeah. It'll take more than karate pants to keep me from toilet papering the temple of the gods. Hey, Strong Again, Man. you can hear from the audio. This is all the work of Strong Man. Okay, Strong Man is an unrespected genius in his own time. Hey, check it out. I squished it. It's cute. It's turn it all around. He didn't oh, do the colors. That's why he's far terrified. Far. You're so bored with my style. Here's a change for you. No, pan up. I've put up this delightful ocean themed border in the laundry room. Oh, and look, I hot glued some actual shells onto the knobs of the washer and dryer. All for under, under 50, 50 bucks. bucks. Well, that's our show. Join us next week when we'll show you how to knit your own splatter paints. All for under, under 50, 50 bucks. bucks. <laughs> Designing strong bad female redesigning female jerk foot. Yorp, 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 Okay. Anything else? Nope. Got nothing to do with this. Looking cool. We all we all we all <coughs> understand the want for this these days, do we? I think the back to a time when Team Mayor was king. How hot is it right now in Strong Barrier? <laughs> Note to viewers, this is Strong Barrier. Mm. Not this, this, or this. Just this. We're clear? Now give me five. We're boiling over here. What do you do to keep cool? Other people are Tom B. Sending, a lot of, sending a lot of emails being like, Hey, how did the stick get into Strong Batty? Uh, what is Bubs doing in Strong Batty? Cactus area. I'm not exactly sure how hot it is around here, Tombi, but we do have an old time. Cactus area. 
as boring Mexican restaurant <laughs> as we know at Salsa is. <laughs> we may not be no working way of finding out. We carefully place a spoonful of poison. <laughs> Mr. Shekhoff. On Strong Shad's disturbing soft serve flip. There's another, there's another one that I never understood what he was saying was going up. Now I know. He said soft serve flip. Is that what he said? Soft serve flip? Soft serve flip. Flip. Yeah. And then we just ask him. Hey, <coughs> trundle bed. How hot it is right now? Current temperature 97, 98 degrees. Oh, dang. Humidity 25 percent. I know Parametric pressure 30.05 inches mercury. I'm gonna eat this spoonful of hoisin sauce. Don't blame you. Hoisin sauce is delicious. Sometimes I feel like that just because I'm the first person in the house to think of checking the smartphone. You hear that? The high 90s. You know what that means. Okay. So, 885 is nose time, host time. 8590 is tinkler time, sprinkler time. 9095 is grip and glide time, slide and slide time, slip and slide, I'm guessing. Or the wet banana. I learned the 9900, cool time, cool time. Look at these. Cool time, cool time. In the pools that we've always had, that we use all the time. <laughs> and the school is always at an elevator. Cool job. Is that an elevator? Cool time. Cool time. Cool time. I don't know what they were talking about. <laughs> I forgot that. Alright, you little sacks of crap. I'm already Just so I never have to use this weird foamy thing, let me explain the pool rules. Welcome to our ool. Notice there is no take a crap in it. In it. Please keep it that way. Boop Smith, don't even try it. Aww. Also, no rough horsing, no house rousing, no butt padding. Ah, nuts. And no running, no diving, no swimming. Even there. But that last one's not very widely enforced. <laughs> but most importantly, after you eat, wait three full days, get a complete physical, have an ear candling, and press up. A and start before re-entering the pool. Strong, but what did you put in this pool water? I don't know. Chemicals. chemicals. Whatever was under the sink. <laughs> you gotta put chemicals in the pool, right? That's what they say. And awesome that is all that for they sure. Well, whatever it is, it's doing wonders for my hair. I can feel it tingling. Lightning! You guys know the drill. Oh, oh they like the characters leave. Oh, like so later on, anybody want to get together a game of sharks and minnows? Einstein and Kreskin? Pregnant and 17? Oh, looks like we should have been playing Keep Strong Man off the freaking high dive for Pete's sake, man! Mother Ma! Yeah, we'll probably do most of us on the Ebby version. I should really just stop patching that hole. Yeah. Well, it looks like pool season's over. Guess I have to start back to school shopping and get some new... You know you love that. Holders. We've seen your husky-headed boys cat school back to school cat. <coughs> uh, strong man, I think that total wave ruined your ool. I am Branky. Spiny. <laughs> I can't feel my parts. Wind south southwest at 10 miles per hour. Sunset at 8:45 p.m. Baseball games at 2 and 3. <laughs> You've got that soft serve slip. But I, I get why they put the cherry on first because that begs less questions than putting the whipped cream on first. Theme song. Oh yeah, this one is close to the top of that top ten to twenty list. It, it, it's a, it, like top four, not, not even top five. Top four. I don't know about top three. I can't see the definitively, but it very well may be. I feel confident. Top four. Comes to town, you know, you know, it's like a rainstorm. In your browser. browser. They're super bad. 
It bugs me how your email show doesn't have a theme song. If you did have a theme song, your show would be a whole lot cooler. Turn it. It'd be really cool if you did. Theme song. Ontario, Canada. Ooh, a little south of the border flavor. Dear Supper Bag, it bugs me how your face doesn't have a not tons of acne. <laughs> if it did have a not tons of acne, you would be a whole lot cooler. Really Look, cool you don't know what you're did. talking about, Chuck. Theme oh, songs are just an excuse for showmakers to make less show. I'm sure viewership would triple if I had one of those crappy cartoon theme songs that bludgeons you over the head with the blunt end of the show's premise. Strong, Strong guys wrestling man, he's a hero, hero checking his guy in the land. land. He checks real emails from, from the net. net. He's got two brothers and the cheat is bad. Cheat is bad. Nobody down there. 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 And the ratings have gone through the roof. And let's not forget the life affirming pop ballad type theme song. Mm. Probably sung by some variety of Neville. You and me, babe, living for dreams. Life after love. Dreams. And of course, the best clips they show are from the unaired pilot that you'll never see. And just when you think you finally get to start watching some of the actual show, now you get to watch a commercial. Do you make butt at your current job? Do you want to make twice butt? A shady online degree is just four clicks away at CGNU Online University. Most colleges take four years to complete. At C so we got, we got, uh, we got, I heart most colleges. Shower, State U, Biscuit, Gravy University, Homestar's Technies, Homestar's Technies or Homestar's Knees Tech. Frogs! Two strips. CGNU, one year equals one, one click. click. I got 14 degrees while on my lunch break. This is administration, biz business abomination, mousepad engineer, entertainment technology, e-cutting ones, the lighter side of sports, mass communications. Or if that's the man, that'd be Chapman man. Business wheeling, insider trading, computer grabs, business dealing, caps lock technician, escrow understandment, and marriage apothecary. Now I can legally prescribe marriages in the state of Kansanica. Which is Matt's Communications. Uh, enroll now and join the University University Evolution E-Day. E oh, well, today. today. That last That's one didn't quite, quite work, work out. out. We'll be right back with more Strong Bad emails. So banner ad valorium is just something about banner ads. Do you want to cut your own arm off? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's classic. You want to cut your own arm off? <laughs> oh. Don't worry. Just in case you were hoping to get gypped up. So that, that's one of the ones right there. If you suspect one of your friends might be a classic Homestar Rider fan, just suddenly go, Hey, do you want to cut your own arm off? And if they go, <laughs> then they are. If they're really, really confused, they're not worth your time. Out of another minute of actual show, you got to hear the jazzy instrumental version over at the end credits. And on the off chance that you actually wanted to hear the theme song, we've taken care of that too. Coming up later on 3 is 4 tonight, join Mandy, Brandy, Andy, and Scourge as they learn how to give a care. But first, they're tiny, they're puny, they're all oh, the little dooey. It's the King Commando. Kind of. You see, Shahi! You're basically Rudy. asking me to dedicate two minutes of my three to five minute email show to what is essentially a commercial for something you're already watching. Which is incidentally why I freaking hate the uh, the the opening things for like those like two to four minute like anime. Like some of these things are like two minutes long and they still have like a thirty second opening. I I swear I've seen some that are like two minutes long, nine, 90 seconds long, and 70 seconds of it is just the opening. The, the only time the only time I've ever been okay with an opening for like a really short uh, anime 
was one it was a quick it was like there's a mermaid there's a merman in my bathtub and i loved that opening mainly because the opening made it look like it was like super dark the opening made it look super like it's all black and white and grungy and the music is really intense and he's desperately reaching out to grab this struggling merman and they actually watch the, an the anime and it's like hey i'm a merman i'm in the bathtub i'm making little splashes woo 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 and besides i give you people a new speed song every freaking week allow me cool, to leave last week. with the old standard when email comes to town you know you know, you know it's you like know. a rainstorm in your no browser when the email, email comes, comes to town, you know, you know, it's like a rainstorm in, in your browser. browser. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, it's again. That's an everything. And his first guest is Hilarity. Almost there, we got three left. We got three left. Road trip. Okay, okay. This is another one I actually might be on that top four again. This might even be number three, if not number two. Okay. I, I I can remember just being really young and just being like in the car with my brother, reciting this entire one ver ver verbatim. Good morning, Mr. E Man. There's a call for you online too. Dear, I've actually lost two pounds in the last nine months, thank you very much. Bad. That's not Do enough. you ever go on road trips with your gang? Pete from Pete's parents' basement. Mm. Oh yeah, me and the cheat, we're road trip chianados. The one thing I've found is that every good road trip means a good inside go, joke go. that only the people that went on the road trip get. And your friends that didn't go on the road trip mm. want to kill your legs every time you bring it up. These days, I make up the inside joke before I go on the road trip, just in just case one doesn't happen. For this road trip, we'll make it... Jumbo, Jumbo large. large. Get it? Jumbo Large. It's like a maxi moron. Alright, you ready to go, the cheat? Why is Strongman hiding under that not originally yellow spotted sheet from Strongside's bedroom? Not, not my, my bedroom. bedroom. <laughs> Whoa! 80 something cases of bull honky! That Red Bull was kind of like the thing. Sauce. Oh, this road trip is definitely going to be. <laughs> it's canned around. Large. Oh, huh? Just laugh at it. It's an inside joke. It's, it's going, going to be, be hilarious. hilarious. Road trip city, here we go! <laughs> keys? I don't have any keys. Look, the only thing I know about this car is what Bubs told me. And that's that the windows and doors are broken and you can't open them from the inside. Just because, like, I have to assume this is the car that the cheat won, and the cheat got some keys. So oh, really, the cheat got some right. explaining to do. This is pretty poor planning on my part. Bobs, green bobs, anybody? <laughs> All right, forget it. I'm not gonna let a little setback like this ruin our road trip. What we need is some grub. Pull over at this next exit up here. I know a little roadside diner called Beneath the Passenger Seat. Okay, get ready. <laughs> All right, we got a small order of Petra uh, fries, a large melt shake uh, that's almost eaten through the cup. Ooh, and for dessert, a half-sucked butterscotch in desperate <laughs> need of a shave. All right, cool, that was disgusting. Dude, you forgot you forgot the stale hamburger bun from a fast food place that is now hard enough to bludgeon someone to death with. What we need to wash the taste out of our brains is some jamming tunes. <laughs> a mix CD. That, my friend, is Jumbo Large. Sure it is. Now let's put it in and crank it up. Oh, huh? No, just for... Okay, this, is, this is, I think, the first time where uh, Strong Bat looked at something and his first thought was newer technology. Push it in there. I'm sure that thing's forwards compatible. Ah! Oh yeah, the cheat. These are some jamming tunes. And now we're jamming. Jamming tunes, jamming tunes. And we're jamming. Oh, who am I kidding? This is the worst road trip ever. The cheat. We're going to die in this gremlin. And now we're jamming. Jamming tunes, jamming tunes. Now we're jamming.
When this one came out, me and everyone I was friends with were super into Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You leave your dreams. Then we were also slightly into Magic the Gathering. On top of the key. Hey, strong man. You should have trading cards. With we the stick, stick of God them. 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 Nerdly yours, another freaking guy named Daniel. Sure. Not safe in Canada. Oh, I love oh, this. Thanks for the keep, Daniel. I'll lay low here in the States for a while until things cool off. Daniel, trading cards are the biggest waste of not a video game on the planet. In fact, oh. I thought trading cards were outlawed the day they it's invented the money on graphics. these. And as for that gum that comes with them, I'm pretty sure they replaced that with a big piece of balsa wood back in the early 80s and nobody ever noticed. So, no. I've tried, um, I've had, I've had bazooka bubble gum. He, he makes a valid oh. point. I shouldn't have trading cards. But most of the other idiots around here have engaged in some form of trading cartery. Let's rag on them, shall we? First up is Coach Z's line of vaguely sportsish managerial cards. What self-respecting 12-year-old doesn't want to collect pictures of the smelly old men behind their favorite sports teams? And who could resist memorizing all these fabulous stats? To be clear, to be clear, as someone who works at a bookstore, where a, decent, where a decent part of this whole job is just selling these cards. They're just basically NFTs that you actually own. That, that That's all that's really going on there. Like, there's some kids who actually want them. Apart from the kids who actually want them, everyone else, they're just NFTs that you actually own. Ooh, a record high 23 <laughs> butt pads in 84. Hey, do you think was the lucky recipient of all those butt pads? I do like the concept of them being coach trading cards instead of athlete trading cards. Scepter one? Let me guess. It... No, it was, it me. was me. It was like I was made to hustle that season. So, who got that last butt pad? Oh, I think he gave himself that one. He's renowned for his self oh, butt pad. Yeah. Do I want to check with the states? He's renowned for his. He gave himself that. Oh. Like the one, think was the lucky star. Ooh, a record of butt pats, hat throws, dirt kicks, and shorts. Three inches. Anyone else that'd be very disturbing, but I'm Coach Z. It's welcome relief. Old Bup Irison once made a castle out of toilet paper. It was like I was made to hustle that season. So, who got that last butt pat? Oh. I think he gave himself that one. He's renowned for his self butt pats. Yeah, known in seven states. What? Next up, we got. This is the suggestion that these days a coach who pats butts a lot is probably going to give you arrested for patting butts. It's trading card game, which is really more like a trading card activity. 
or the trading card goings on. Because the word game implies fun and enjoyment, and you won't find none of that here. Cheat ball points is great for NATO! Pizza! Um, so did I win? Does anyone know how this game works? Yes, yes, everybody who played Yu-Gi-Oh! knew how it worked, except the people who didn't want to, and the people who assumed that the rules on the anime must actually apply, so they tried to insist to whoever they were playing with them that they were the secret rules and they actually worked, so they always won. I had a friend like that. Made. Made, it made Toontown actually worth playing. Oh, What's the rain? Tornado! Fiery how to play convulsion. Confusion. Trade you your cheat ball call. Honestly, like, some of them get like simplified down. I don't quite get them. Like, I, I never really understood Gwent. It seems like the simplest thing ever, but I, I, I just I couldn't do it. I couldn't do Gwent. I'd for my deathly pallor, lonely lord. I like how he's leaning into the best deathly pallor thing. I believe that started as an insult. Better get at alliance. Hat card. Homestar. Those aren't even from the same lame game. The Legorette Alliance. France Bald Limerick Squirrel. Very powerful. Or SLG. Your game is for musky nerds to play in the basement of the freshman dorms. This cutesy Japanesey game is for little kids to play during recess to make sure they don't get any real ex I did I did play a little bit of D and D in a college dorm. And that story gets depressing. I, I, I wondered who had a much better time in high school than he did college. Besides, well, how are them kids going to order any butt pads if they don't hustle it out? I don't think butt pads are part of the approved curriculum at elementary schools these days. Well, that's just sad. The only trading cards I really gave a toot about were the Poopsmith line of gross-out cards for kids. I'll trade you that Petey Poopsmith for this mozzie pancake. You just keep showing up, don't you? Okay, okay. He just hasn't I'll throw in this whale sting of town, too. How about I trade you a get out of my face for this, uh, one of a kind strong bad bench pressing dinosaurs collector's card? Hooray! My collection is complete! And here, my good man, is your get out of your face. Yeah, you lost two of your cards. Those are one of a kind collectibles. How many times have we had that conversation? <laughs> thirty-five. Okay, anyone who wants to go back and count, did he in fact have thirty-five? Oh. We got the clicker guy. Showering expert. This is better. Always on rainbow needle. Fiery how to play confusion. Deathly pallor, lonely lurker attack. Six power, fifteen tough. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, well, that's much better. He's not as bad as Poopy. Yep, yep. That's. I actually like these. You get a lot of movement in them and stuff. It's good. You get personality. Let's start with the end of the world. Why don't we get it over with and move on to more interesting things? Those first two sentences. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a really good class. Like really fun interrupting. Alright, here we go. Oh, thank you, Tony D. Everybody say thank you, Tony D. <laughs> it's email. Money, money, money. For everyone who's picking up on it already, yes. Shut up. There's Strongman. Resolve all, all the key fingers, please. Thanks. thanks. Sure. Little cakey, please, and thanks. Hmm, the key fingers, eh? I never really thought to call them that, but. I guess that is what they are. Interview. Yeah, why not? <laughs> this dinner party is top dollar. Not think about how that hat. All right. I, I I love you. You can almost see the thought process of, of course, the hat's gonna come up and down, and then they just really embrace it, defying gravity with that twirl around this whole body thing. Like they're like, yeah, it's defying gravity. Here's how much it's defying gravity. Hey, I love it. Prepare to be resolved. <laughs> oh. Oh, guys, <laughs> friends, friends, friends. All right, all right. I know what you really mean, Casey. So, you say you want a resolution, huh? And now, 
think I'm a man. Ooh, it is. I think I'm a man. The world will discover your secret secret identity, secret thereby identity. rendering you useless as a nigga man. I've been wondering about I'll this. I've been you wondering about this. Less. Now give me them cool shades. I get it! My secret sword has been revealed! Yeah, I know, no. Lena Ford, but I'm in orbit, baby! Look, I'll call you back when I'm not on <laughs> Snap! Collision alarm! Bring it up on screen! We're on a collision course with Monstange Comet! Full power to the forward humbuckers! <laughs> humbuckers are offline! Humbuckers have never worked! Oh, uh, if, 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 I, if I ever find myself, like, writing for, like, Star Trek, or even more than likely because I'm an American, Red Dwarf, even though I'd much rather write for Red Dwarf. Because if I was the guy who made American Red Dwarf work, beyond the degree to which the American Red Dwarf is Futurama and Lower Decks. So basically, if I ever was writing for Lower Decks, humbuckers would suddenly be a thing. Forward, strap in, strap, and prepare for oh, rapid speed! Work. If this is the end, then we can at least make it awesome for the people in... Greenland! Oh, shoot! Well, Cap and Strap, make it out of this one! Tune in next time! Oh, no, 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 no. Just get to resolving! Okay! okay. This is it, Strap! Wait a minute! Uh, no We've wandered into the forgotten produce belt of uh, Pavlager uh, 5. It's guacamole and banana bread time, Strap! I love the music thing there. Guacamole and banana bread time. Wham, 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 Look, you oh, can tell me. I can't. Oh, come on. What is it? I'm, I'm pregnant. pregnant. No, um, no, no, you're, you're home star. star. Runner. Runner. The male. The male. Uh, oh boy, did that joke age well. Oh, phew. Thought I was a pregnant woman for a second now. Yeah, yeah uh, I think cool. I'd like my money back now. And there you go, Dickenstein. All the key fingers have been re- Oh, damn. Cakewalk. Oh yeah, that was pretty easy. Ah! My computer's been mm. lappy napped! And they cut off her little mm. toe! Oh, sweet lady irony! Why do you mock me? I, I tear my shirt off, but I like this shirt. It's got yeah, value. yeah. You know who I think done it? Homestar. Home what? Think about it, think about it. He's got the history, he's got, he got the motive. Homestar, are you admitting that you stole my computer? What? No! I was just making water cool conversation, trying to sound up with the times, uh, uh, sports Sports team? team? Nah, I bet if you take okay. away them cool shades and rip that off his chest, underneath you'd find a thin green man with a big ol' Z hanging from his- Coach! Are you accusing yourself of being a sicker man? Yeah, I know. I'm on the Rumble Rumble Sports team. Oh man, man, man! I wonder just what, just what's gonna happen. You know, who who took him? This is one of those many moments when I kind of wish this was airing now. Like, I want to know, I want to hear, I want to hear Matt Pat's theories. Who napped the lapping? Anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe.